Hey, welcome to Tabletop Skirmish Games. I'm Lee, and in this video, I'll be unboxing the Italian Alpini Mountain Troop, and I'll also build them so you can have a good idea exactly what's included in the box and see some assembled too. A big thank you to Warlord Games for sending this box out for me to share with you. I'll put a link in the description down below so you can find out more, and that'll take you to their website. But here you can see the box and we've got on the back all the contents so you know exactly what's going to be included. There's going to be the opportunity here to build 30 miniatures. You get the transfer sheet. There's lots of different weapon configurations here so you can build all different command models. And you've got the different options for the steel helmets or the alpine caps. Loads more weapons, plastic bases, assembly leaflet and then there's those decals that I was talking about. And here you just get a little introduction to these mountain troops just to let you know how they fit in with the timeline of World War II. As we flip it around to the front, you can see at the top right here, it tells you that these are early and mid-war. And there's the artwork really set in the scene with the cabin, you've got the snow and those mountainous trees as well. But let's get this open, we'll have a look at all the contents and then I'll get them built up and talk through the different options that I've put together. Get the trusty Spyderco knife. I love this knife, it's so cool. Use it in all my unboxings. But we'll get this wrapper off and then we can get everything out and you can have a real good look at exactly what's gonna be on the sprues and included in the box set. So this one is just gonna be placed in. There's no trays or anything like that. So we'll tip it all out. You get a good chunk of plastic here. Loads of sprues in this box. And there we go, that's empty. Let's put that to one side and we'll start working our way through. Here's the little instruction booklets. This is all you get. You don't get step-by-step -step guides for the infantry with the ones that I've experienced so far with bolt action, but it does clearly label all the weapons. And then on the other side, you can see the different figures you can make, the officers and the rankings. Then you get your bases. We're going to get 30 all together. So there's one for each miniature. And then you're going to get all these other sprues and this little bag that tells you who packed it. And you're also going to get your decals in there. This one was packed by Evelyn. Thank you so much. Great job. And then here you've got the transfers. Very tiny these. So that's going to be fun putting those on. I'll probably do a video about those transfers. I know someone asked me before in um, actually an email. So if you're watching this Tiffany, then I will be doing that very soon. But here we go, here we can see the sprues now for the troops. So you're gonna get five sprues all together and these are identical and each sprue is gonna allow you to build six different miniatures. We only need one to get a good idea about what's included here. So let's change the camera, we'll focus in and have a real good look. Here we go, so you can see at the bottom, it tells you when these were first made, so 2021. And at the top, it tells you exactly what they are. They're the Italian Alpini. And I'm really trying my best to get the names pronounced correctly for the bolt action models. And so I've checked that one and I believe that's how you say it. So we're off to a good start, hopefully. But here you can see all the different heads. You're gonna get loads of options all together. There's what, 16 different heads, helmeted and the caps. I really like the axes. You've got all different knives, daggers, and then you've got the different weapons. When you go to build these, just use the little guide that was included. And so all the, the different parts are numbered and then it tells you exactly what each number is. So you know exactly what everything is here on the sprue. You've got six different bodies. You've got all the different pouches, really nicely done. Again, lots of daggers. They've got feathers to wear in their caps and on their helmets as well. And this is my, what, fourth unboxing video for Bolt Action. I've got to say, I really like the models. I like how they do things. The quality's great. And, you know, there's some tidy up, as you would expect from any of these castings, but not too much. And they do come out really crisp. You can see here all the straps and all those pouches very clearly defined. And the weapons, it's very obvious what they are. You can certainly tell for sure. So really nice detailing. I like that you've got the different head options and they give you plenty of them. And then you've got some other things like the binoculars. You've even got the Italian hand gesture there. I'll certainly be using that one. And then the faces are very well done as well. So there's going to be altogether five of those, six models on each. That's your 30 models. You've got the bases and you've got your decals and then you've got this sheet. Let's have another look. So this will tell you here a little bit about each option. So you can build the Sergeant Major and it says there that you just convert one of the heads with a helmet on into a helmet and you can put it on his back. So I've done that in the build as you'll see later on once all the models are assembled at the end of the video. And then here's got a color guide and everything you need to get going. 
At first I was expecting to see an instruction manual for the infantry when I did the gentleman's war box, but you don't need it, it's very obvious where they go, and they do include the step-by-step -step guides for vehicles. Okay, time to get these built, so let's head over to the bench and I'll just show you quickly how I prepare them and then you'll have a good look at them all assembled and I'll talk through the different options that I chose when building. Let's start with the sprues then, so I simply just snip them off with a nice pair of clippers here and then we're going to trim those up. So these always come on sprues I think for the infantry and they're quite thin these but that's nice because I can put a little magnet underneath which I'll show you later, it doesn't raise them up too much off the table. I just use a little blade and I trim away any excess that's left from the sprue and then I scrape it so it's nice and flat and smooth and there we go. And that's, that's how I get them prepared and you can get these done pretty quickly once you start flying through it in batches. Same for the models, I just snip them. Generally what I'll do is I'll snip off all the bodies, get them all tidied up, line them up with a base and then start snipping off the components getting those components ready and then lining those up with each model. So I try and do all the cutting, all the preparation first and then start gluing it all together. And here you can see one of the models, there's just that little line there from the mould and they're very clever how they do these. You, uh, often they're like tucked in where the line would go into a natural line anyway but sometimes you're going to get it going through some of the clothing, maybe pouches, on the water bottles on these particular models. But I just use my little blade there, scrape that down and that's all there is to it. Just take my time and just get rid of that. So I'm going to be painting these in batches as well. I'm going to be doing it quite quickly, tabletop ready. So I'm not too worried but we certainly don't want any bits sticking out. And so just keep going, have a look around the model. Usually the lines are dead opposite each other so once you've found one it's easy to find the other. And there you go, I've put them all on the bases, glued them together, and now I want to put on some of these magnets. And these are war mags, and I like to use these, they're little sticky magnets, 25mm. Thanks to Graham Rigg who left a comment on the previous bolt action video suggesting a couple of dots of super glue just to help these really stay in place. So that's a great tip and that'll definitely make these a bit stronger. So I pop it on there though and then I just hold it in place, make sure it's nice and neat and then start pressing it down. And that's going to keep these nice and safe. I'm a big fan of magnetising. I don't like putting the models in foam anymore and I, th I find that war mag system works really well. So once you've got the magnet on, you put them in these little boxes and then you're good to go. And you can see I've got all my German and British models there from Gentleman's War, all magnetised too. So I'll be doing the same with all of these Italian mountain troops. Here's nine of them all assembled and to decide which ones to use, I took the Campaign Italy Tough Gut book and I did an unboxing of this. If you'd like to see it, I'll link to it at the end of this video. And then if you go to page 94 and 95, you're going to find details for these specific models. So this is great. So out of here, I've chose an NCO and four men to build a CIL Alpine section. And then I've also built a headquarters unit as well. This is great because it tells you which weapons you can give them. You've got some options. Also, you can add additional men. It's got all the points there. It tells you you can give your NCO an SMG for an extra three points. And you can even put together an LMG with an assigned loader. So here are nine of the models. So you can see in the top left, I've got the headquarters. That's one officer and one accompanying man. And then I've got the Seal Alpine section of an NCO and four men. And then I've also built an additional LMG with an assigned loader. The plan here is to have my headquarters, that's the two men, and then I'm gonna have four units of seven made up of the regular NCO and four men, and then each unit will have the LMG and the loader. So here I've got my officer, I had to give him the Italian hand gesture for sure. He's got the pistol and he's gonna come with a submachine gun and then he's got the accompanying man there. I've just given him a rifle and he's just taken down some notes. So I thought that's quite cool. Those two are gonna definitely stand out and really appear like a little HQ and differentiate them nicely, I think, from the rest of the troops. Then here I've got the two-man LMG team. So these are gonna be part of the Alpine section. And so one of them is the loader, and you've got some different options with different things you can give them. The loader will come with either an ammunition box for the Breeder M30, or you can give them the magazine. And then the one on the right is armed with the Breeder M30, and there's two options on the sprue, so you can have them in different ways. 
Then we've got the rest of the section. These are the Alpine section. And we've got the NCO and I've armed him with the SMG. This is going to be the M30AA Beretta. And then you've got options for the M91 Kakano Cavalry Carbine, the M38, the M41 as well. Lots of choices. And then I've given them all the helmets. So apart from the NCO who I've given the cap and my HQ team have got caps too. Let's have a closer look. I'll get them up so you can have a really good look at these and just see how good they are when they're put together. I really like the combo of this Italian hand gesture, the Beretta pistol, and then he's just got a really cool face as well. I think this works really nicely. And then I've just put the SMG on, over the shoulder there. That's our officer in charge then. And for his accompanying man, I've given him a cap as well, just so he stands out and is differentiated from the rest of the troops. But then I've also given him the helmet on the back and he's taken notes. I kind of like the idea. I don't know why my head, like this Italian NCO, is getting him to write down a recipe or something. And so uh, there we go. That's what I was, I was picturing. And that's what came across using the components. All right, now let's have a close up look at the soldier armed with the Breeder M30 and the loader. Loader on the left, you can see he's got these spare barrels on the backpack, which is great, really like that. And he's holding the magazine. And then you've got some different options. You can have the ammo box as well with a loader. And then you've got the guy armed with it on the right. Two options for that LMG as well. Then we've got the rest of the Alpine section. This is our NCO armed with the SMG. Got the helmet on the back as well. Got the axe. I've given them all axes. I thought that would suit them really well. And then I've given them all the different rifles. Just mixed it up. But I've gone with helmets for these. Given them their satchel on the back. The bottle's fixed anyway. And then again the axe. And then there's two bandoliers on each sprue. So I'm certainly going to make use of those. And you can see a couple of the models have got the bandolier going across the strap on their back. I guess you could put it on the front if you wanted to maybe. But I thought it looked good on the back. So I've just gone for that. I think there's certainly enough variety here with the poses, the different weapons, loads of different heads as well. And then you've got daggers and axes and the little satchels as well to add on some extra details. So you've certainly got lots of ways you could put these together in enough ways that make the sections different enough so that these aren't completely identical in each one. So I think that's really nice, really happy with the different amounts you're going to get in here. But all up, a really fun set. I really enjoy building these and it's great learning about them too. I think that's one of the good things with Bolt Action. It's really interesting with the history of everything and it's a great game. I'm really enjoying it. Me and my boy played last night. It was awesome fun and uh, yeah, it's good. There's going to be a lot of content coming for Bolt Action for sure. I'm really enjoying it and I hope you've enjoyed seeing this video and I hope it's given you a good idea about what's included. So now you can decide whether or not this is something that you would like to add to your collection. A massive thank you to Warlord Games for sending this out for me to share with you today. And I'm really excited to be collaborating with them to bring you a new box set every week. And more than that, I've literally just gone and bought the long range desert vehicle. So that video will be coming soon. I've also bought a load of zombies from them as well. So I'll be building those and giving you a good look at them. And my boy is getting into it too. So we've ordered the Soviet Winter Starter Army. Lots to look forward to there. But next week, you can look forward to the Hail Caesar starter set where I'll be unboxing that. I've already had a look at the Campaign Italy Tough Gut book. That's up on the channel if you'd like to have a look at the overview of that book. And also Wojtek the Soldier Bear. And I did the Bolt Action unboxing for a Gentleman's War starter set where you get everything you need to play the game. The book, all the dice, tokens and the two armies. A big thanks to all my sponsors and supporters this month for helping me keep going with these daily videos and a big thank you to you for clicking on their links. It really helps me, really helps them and it's just awesome. You also save 20% or up to 20% on all your hobby products which is a great deal. If you're interested in World War II and zombies you might like to check out my series with Raybox Games. This is a solo co-op game. Awesome. It plays out like a play your own adventure book. Really fun. If whimsical fantasy is more your thing, then please have a look at my Moonstone series. This is awesome. A great game. Really getting into it. And it's growing fast in the community for sure. And I've got a monster mashup event planned for Monday the 30th of October. And doing that at the Little Shop DVD and Games in Liscard. Be great if you can come along. That's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it and I hope it was helpful. If you did like it, it'd be great if you hit the like button. If there's anything you'd like to add in the comments, that's awesome too. Love to read your comments and it'd be great if you subscribe to keep up to date with all the future videos. 
Thanks so much, and I look forward to seeing you here next time on Tabletop Skirmish Games. Thank you so much to my Patreon supporters for helping me to keep going with these regular videos. I couldn't do this without you, and I appreciate your support so much. If you'd like to join the Patreon community, support the channel, get some great perks at the same time, there's a link down below in the description. It'll be awesome to see you there.